Anything we've learned over the last year, particularly since the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, is that this relationship between the public and the police is very tenuous. And then any time we have these very egregious types, excessive use of force scenarios where someone loses their life needlessly, we see a further erosion of trust and confidence of the police. So if we want the police to maintain the legitimacy, we need to make these changes. My name is Angela Workman-Stark. I'm an associate professor at Athabasca University in the Faculty of Business, and I'm also a retired chief superintendent from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I spent just over 24 years in the, the Mounties. The commissioner approached me in round about March of 2013 to ask if I would be interested in overseeing the RCMP response to these serious allegations of gender discrimination and harassment, and really to oversee any types of reforms that would help us create a much more inclusive workplace. I accepted that role to do what I could inside the organization to help pursue reforms. And because I had heard so many stories from people, I felt that they had entrusted me with their narrative. I felt compelled, quite frankly, to do something more. But it became clear within a couple of years that the culture, the climate, really weren't conducive to those types of changes. And so I had, the, I had the great opportunity to leave policing and move into an academic role. And that gave me the opportunity to, to really dig into those issues and to understand why do they occur in the first place and what are some ways that we can counter them. Police have, the, have this very unique authority that no other, you think what no other occupation has, and that's the use of course of authority. And so unfortunately, when that is abused, bad things happen. Part of my research has been to dig into the culture, so to determine what are those negative aspects of culture that contribute to these very harmful in outcomes for the people within the organization, but also in terms of their interactions with communities. And from my research, what I've found is there's a bit of a masculinity contest culture and that officers, particularly, and we're talking policing now, are expected to constantly prove their masculinity in the sense of being strong enough, tough enough, not showing any weakness, putting work first. But I've also been looking at how do we counter that and have been identifying a number of factors which have some hope in terms of policing for making these necessary reforms. We've seen research that shows that the way people are treated on the inside is directly correlated with the number of uh, complaints against the police the misconduct issues. So therefore, there's, it's really important that we actually do some work to, to, to change the, the existing conditions. My goal is to assist uh, organizational leaders at all levels with understanding what they need to do differently to create the environment such that any person that walks into their organization knows that they're valued, respected, trusted, and accepted for who they are and what they bring. If we can tackle some of these tough issues within an environment such as policing or the military, we are well positioned to make a lot of great reforms in other occupations across a wide variety of sectors. And so fortunately, I had maintained this long-standing relationship with Athabasca University, having completed my MBA there. So coming back to Athabasca and being able to do the things that I can do, to do the research that's important to me, that I think is important to communities, to to incorporate that research into the courses, the courses that I teach, has just been, it's been phenomenal. But it really comes back to the mission of the university that is very quite unique in Canada.